Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making some more Milky Way resin coasters and we're going to be trying a new resin. We're going to be trying out Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. Um, they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try some of their resins and I said yes, of course. So they sent me the Tabletop Epoxy and the Maker Poxy. I'm going to be trying the Maker Poxy in a future video so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that and they also have a ton of awesome measuring cups a scraper um, the measuring cups are fantastic because it has the actual ounces written out right on the side super simple and easy to use and you just clean them out with uh, isopropyl alcohol and some paper towels or at least that's how I do it after I'm done using them so we're going to use the tabletop epoxy today. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm mixing up 12 ounces because I'm working on a few different projects at once. I'm going to pour in six ounces of my part B and this is six ounces of my part A. I'm going to go in and mix that up for three minutes and you want to make sure you mix nice and slow, very slow. Scrape the bottom of your cup, scrape the sides of your cup, scrape off your stir stick and mix that up for three minutes. I wanted to include my mixing in this video because it is new. I just started doing this a few months ago and this is what's actually the new step. I take that mix, mixed up resin that I just got done mixing for three minutes, scrape it all out of the first cup, pour it into another cup and mix for another three minutes. Nice and slow mixing. Um, and that way you're gonna 100% make sure your resin is mixed and you're not gonna have any problems with your resin not setting up properly. So I wanted to include mixing in this video because like I said, it's kind of a new way I started mixing my resin. To pigment my resin, I'm gonna be using this Suncatcher Glitz and Glam Pigment Powder, Mayron Gold from Amazon. I'll link it down below. And Lores Angel white epoxy paste from Laura's Art Corner. I'm using about a pea size amount of each of the products and I'm going to fill the cups up. These are one and a half ounce cups from Total Boat, um, which is nice because you know exactly how much you're measuring. And I actually um, poured a little bit less of the gold because I didn't want to have too much gold left over. So here are my coaster molds. I'm going to fill up just the bottom of the mold and um, that way the first layer is really, really not much resin at all. You just want to make sure the bottom of the mold is covered with clear, tilt it around, and then you're going to go in and add your pigments. And I always use my heat gun on low when I'm working on silicone molds because you don't want to damage your mold at all. And the tabletop epoxy is a little bit of a thicker resin, um, so it did have some bubbles, but it didn't have micro bubbles. Um, all the bubbles came out easily when I went in with my heat gun. So I'm just going in with some angel white, some mayron gold, some of the sun catcher, just making squiggly lines, hitting it with my heat gun on low to blend it. And on this one, I even went in with my finger and swirled it a little bit. And that was it. Super simple and easy. Covered it up, let it dry for 24 hours. And now we're going to add our glitter backing layer, filling the mold up the rest of the way. This is the gorgeous Blueberry Sparkle Glitter from Laura's Art Corner, Snowdrift from Laura's Art Corner, and this brown kind of purpley one is Fairy Forest from Dryer Days Art Studio. I have coupon codes for all these glitters down below. Um, I really love the Blueberry Sparkle though, and that one's super special to me because I actually got to name it, which is kind of fun. So just filling the molds up the rest of the way with the glitter. Um, I like to use three or four different types of glitter. And I actually had some glitter left over, so I'm just going to be using that in another coaster mold. I'm going to go in with my heat gun on low to pop the bubbles, and I'm using it from up high, my heat gun. I'm not right down on the actual mold. I'm holding it nice about a foot above my mold and hitting it on low to pop bubbles. And that's it. Cover them up, let them dry for 24 hours, and then we'll be ready to demold them. So here we are, it's 24 hours later. We're gonna pop these out of the molds. I was so excited to get these out of the mold and see how they turned out. And look at how pretty. I got some really cool cells and lacing in the center of this one from the Mayron Gold. Um, the Tabletop Epoxy from Total Boat is a thicker resin and I really liked working with it. Um, and it's gonna give you 
better cells in lacing than other resins. I've noticed with tabletop resin, you get better kind of like effects if that's what you're looking for in your art. And it's not going to be like super just wispy. You're going to get cells in lacing. And here's the extra one. I had the extra glitter and just filled up the mold. Um, it has some etching in there that I'll fill in off camera with acrylic paint. It says wake up and smell the coffee. I thought the fairy forest glitter would be pretty in just a set of all these coasters because it's kind of, you know, coffee vibes glitter. And here's the second coaster. It turned out really nice as well. I love this color combination together. So what I'm going to do is um, just going to show you to show them to you guys in some better lighting. But I have a few other videos showing this technique if you guys want to check them out. I'll leave them linked down below in the description box. And I'll also leave them at the end card screen of this video. Just click that and it'll take you straight to the video. So you can see, you know, different resins will give you different results. Um, this is one of my favorite sets that I've made using this technique. I just love all the depth and dimension, especially in the first layer that we did with the Mayron Gold and the Angel White. Let me know what you guys think of this set down in the comments. I really love this combination together. That blueberry sparkle glitter is so beautiful. It's got such a unique sparkle to it. Um, and like I said, I love it because I got to name it too. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be trying out the Maker Poxy very soon. And I'll be sure to link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. So if you want to get any of these products, it'll save you a little bit and give you a discount as well. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing good. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and go check out a few more of my other videos. That would really help me out a lot. I will leave a few of my other Milky Way coaster demos right here. Just click that and it'll take you straight to the video. Thanks again and I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye!